Yeah, maybe you can hear me now. <laughs> uh, I added some widgets <laughs> or some information uh, on my. Well, I'm getting such an echo. Um, nope. Hmm. Hang on just a second, you guys. Live streams, technical difficulties. Uh, Property and mixer. Mm. Okay. Yes, that fixed it. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So, welcome. Welcome to today's live stream. We're going to be continuing the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Uh, as you can see, Grezda over there. Um, has something for us. Uh, I did want to, oh, well, you probably can't see because I have my full webcam up, which is unusual for me. There we go. Trying something a little bit different there. <laughs> anyway, uh, Grazda back there uh, has a quest for us, so we're going to continue the main quest. I think we're going to be able to do two new quests um, with how many points we have. Um, I did want to let everybody know that next week's live stream um, is probably going to get rescheduled a bit. Like today, um, today I was available to start early, which is nice. Um, and next week, I think I'll be able to do that also. So um, I'm thinking even earlier, maybe sometime in the morning. I mean, in instead of what, almost 2 p.m. Um, today, it'll be earlier next week. <clears throat> So, yeah, so I I was running some errands earlier today, and I had, like, a little bit of coffee before I had to run out and do just do some things. I was, like, halfway through my first errand, looked down at myself, and realized that this shirt I'm wearing was inside out. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, was I getting dressed in the dark? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyway, I hope everybody's doing all right. Having a good week. Uh, yeah, the uh, Witches Festival is coming up in a couple of weeks, but I think we're going to finish the Dark Brotherhood quest line before then. We'll just see how it turns out. So, Grazda, got something for us? Well met, Assassin. I bring word from the Matron. Oh, what does Astera want, Grazda? I don't know the details, but I understand she received word from the Black Hand. I'm sure it has something to do with whatever you and Green Venom Tongue have been up to. Hmm. What are you waiting for? Get to the Sanctuary and see what Astara wants. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I think we already caught a snippet of this last time we played. I'll go to the Sanctuary and talk to Astara. Thank you. The Wrath of Sith. Oh, great. Fantastic. What could Sithis want with us? <laughs> uh, how have we angered him? <laughs> I guess we will find out. Oh, and I'm glad that the live stream seems to be going okay. I uh, I started my Streamlabs OBS this morning, and or just like half an hour, an hour ago, and it's a thing popped up and said, we've updated to a new version. You must uninstall your graphics driver and update a clean, or install a clean install of the newest version. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So I like played around with that a little bit, but I don't think I have the same as the kind that the info was telling me to do. So it's just like, I don't have time for this right now. Let's just hope for the best. And so far, the best is working out. So that's good. <laughs> but let me know if you guys notice any, uh, issues with the stream because it could be because they updated the encoder and I haven't 
updated my graphics driver for it. So, yeah. Yes, hey, Estera. Word has come back from the Black Hand. It's time to do to Lyra Viria what she did to her brothers and sisters. It's time for the Black Dragon to die. So you want me to kill the Black Dragon? No. Due to his seniority and knowledge of the target, that honor's been bestowed upon Green Venom Tongue. He's already tracked Lyra to Night's Grave and is preparing to strike. I have a different task in mind for you. Why do I feel like he's gonna fail? <clears throat> How can I serve, Matron? I want you to follow Green Venom Tongue and make sure the deed is done. Oh. I don't doubt his loyalty, but they were friends once. If he falters in the slightest, it will be his blood that stains the ground. No matter what, the Black Dragon must die. Okay, if Green Venom Tongue doesn't kill Lyra, I will. Go to Night's Grave and make sure that Green Venom Tongue succeeds. <clears throat> but if the Black Dragon manages to overcome him, then I expect you to end Lyra and make her pay for betraying her brothers and sisters. All right. Uh, before you go, can you remind me about a few things? My name is John. Of course, Assassin. <laughs> what details are unclear to you? Uh, oh yeah, what, what is Knight's Grave? I'm not sure. Knight's Grave is an imperial ruin situated near the northwest shore of the Gold Coast. Legends oh. claim it dates back to the founding of the Order of the Hour. But now it's nothing but tumbled stones and forgotten memories. Aww. Why would the Black Dragon go to a place like that? Whatever happened to Lyra after she purified her sanctuary and went to Kavach, it seems clear that she developed a powerful bond with the Order and their god. Green Venom Tongue believes she's gone there to contemplate her next move. Hmm. What have we learned about the Black Dragon? Thanks to the efforts of you and Green Venom Tongue, we learned that the Black Dragon is Lyra Viria. Moreover, you discovered that Lyra was a member of the Dark Brotherhood, a <laughs> silencer who was part of Green Venom Tongue's former sanctuary. That's funny. It's they, they've added the sort of thing in case you like haven't played in a while and you forget, or you have amnesia <laughs> and you forgot what you were doing. Uh, okay, the same sanctuary that she was ordered to purify. Indeed. Perhaps that's where she acquired her taste for killing her brothers and sisters. After the purification, she received a contract to murder the current primate's predecessor, and consequently became Arturius's black dragon. Okay, <clears throat> and what's the Order of the Hour's role in all of this? The primate has rallied the Order against us. Between the problems with the sermonizers and the chanters, and the revelation that the Black Dragon is the Order's first sword, it's clear that Artorius has a quarrel with the Brotherhood. Hmm. Didn't Artorius use us to eliminate his predecessor? He had no problem performing the sacrament. That much is certain. Artorius is dangerous, but Lyra remains the immediate threat. I believe you have somewhere to be, Assassin. Okay. I guess that's my cue. Um, so <laughs> a bunch of people have died <laughs> since I joined this order. Um, I think the only survivors right now are Venom Green Tongue. Uh, that that Nord and the girl that can turn into a werewolf. I hope they have more. Um, I'm interested about their story. They're they're bonding, so I hope those two get are more involved in some more of the quest lines. Uh, let's see, where am I going? The wrong way. That's where I'm going. Oh yeah, let's stop over at the shadowy supplier, um, and see what we could get. I'm not. Oh, it was going the right way. It all turned around.
Are you back here? I think he's over at the bar where he was last time. Yeah, there we go. I could take a disguise. I don't think I had any. I think I used that one up. Um, yeah, let's do that. I've been getting pretty good equipment um, from the quests and uh, the few times I've, just, I've seen this guy. Oh, that's not a disguise. I guess it's the second time I've chosen that. Let's go ahead and get my reward, too. Where'd it go? Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Remove $2,000 worth your bounty. Ooh, so that is a ton. I mean, you would have to be in pretty big trouble <laughs> to have $2,000 worth. <laughs> like, that's just 500. That is nice. I need to cast uh, Well, I guess it's a legendary color. I think purples. Then I need to start doing that more often for him. If it, I thought it was just disguises, but if it's uh, those litmusy tickets or whatever, I just I was like avoiding the use of the word because I was just like I'm gonna mess it up, so I don't even want to say it. <laughs> All right. Now I know. Alrighty, so we need to go help out, well not help out, but make sure the deed gets done. That Venom Green Tongue kills Lyris. I was mispronouncing her name like in every stream since we've met her. <laughs> but I, I think I think I, I've got it down now. She's the Dark Brotherhood are kind of liars, and she was a Dark Brotherhood member, so she's a liar. Her name is Lyris. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a little trick I told myself. Uh, so let's see. It's on the... It's up here. Are there really no... No, uh... Way shrines? Okay. Then it's faster just to, uh... Go ahead and go up. Uh... Just wander on over there. I'll probably do some, uh... Crafting looting along the way. If I see anything worth. <clears throat> I'm not sure who these people are. I don't remember, really remember hearing much about uh, all of these hostiles we find in the countryside um i would i would guess there's a quest for it but i haven't found it yet there was one day i was actually looking for uh all the miscellaneous quests that i could find for the area uh for gold coast the gold coast area but i don't know i didn't find that so. yeah. i see pewter Yeah. <laughs> 
Did I? I... I think I don't have an ultimate set up. Or... No, I do. Okay. But I have five points to use, also. I may have been holding on to those so that I could... Yeah, because I have a few that I can use for the Dark Brotherhood, and I didn't want to spend them without you guys here. <laughs> so, uh, so we have five points to use. Shadow Rider. Aggression radius for hostile monsters is decreased by 50% while mounted. That's kind of nice. I'll take one of those. And then, let's see, when we get up to Dark Brotherhood 10, which is like the top tier, 15% chance to shroud when you are using the blade of woe, shielding you from being witnessed and receiving a bounty. That is pretty nice. Because you're going to be, if you're assassinating somebody, you're using the blade of woe. So, all right. And then I could you put some in bounty and heat, uh, resulting from witnessed murder or assault, reduced by 20%. Um, so we'll go up to 30%. Let's put one more into that. And then... Uh, Adamaric Sprint. Grants, oh, major expedition increasing your movement speed by 30% for 6 seconds after killing a citizen. That is actually kind of cool. Um, you can see the effect, I think, when you... You're, I think that's the one my, where my arms glow red and you get these circly, yellow circly things around you. Do that once more. And then I'm not sure if I want to put another point into like that one. Although that is a pretty good one. I'll think about it. Yeah, and that wolf sure is barking. I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't played in a few days with this character. <laughs> I've been trying to level up my bow a bit more so I can get a... Maybe a bow ultimate instead of the one that I had picked before, which is my... One of my Dragon Knight abilities. Which is pretty cool, though, because you- I turn into a- a dragon- dragon-type humanoid person with wings and kind of lunge at everybody and uh, knock everybody to their feet. <laughs> I wonder if I have my bow poisoned, because I... Um, I have poison on here for some reason. I don't really know how that works, <laughs> since it's a, uh, a staff, but poisoning the staffs apparently does work. <laughs> so hindrance and immobilize. Reduced movement speed. Or creeping ravage health hindrance. Thank you.
think I need to switch up my buttons. I was looking for that round one that I just shot off and I couldn't see it. Should be volley, which is triangle. Yeah. Let's see. Wanted. So there's like a way to uh, show off or uh, make parts of your HUD disappear. And I thought that they were talking about. Oh, uh, which. Was it social? Yeah. Hide. HUD chat display. Oh. See, I thought that I had it off on one of my other characters, but then it was appearing anyway. And so I went to be like, okay, let's turn it on then. So I don't have to look at those. <laughs> and it was already on. So I was like, hmm. Huh. Okay, maybe I don't know what this is for actually. So we'll have to see if anything appears. <laughs> Yeah, don't ask me what those flying things are. I don't know. <laughs> They're like... Uh, I don't want to see fairies. They're not like fairies. They're like... Uh, they're not like brownies. Oh, hello. Whoa. Hello. A lot of fire and light, or uh, fire and destruction here. <laughs> He caused. Oh, he killed the little brownie. There, there's a word that I'm thinking of, and I just can't remember what it is. It's like a fairy, but they cause a lot of trouble. And <laughs> oh, hello! I did not see you there. I didn't even notice that there was a guy standing for a statue here <gasps> with a pile of gold that I cannot take. All right. Knight's Grave, Legend or Legacy, by Chanter Wobolin, Cathedral Historian. 
What do the ruins of Knight's Grave, re Grave represent? And why are they important to the Cathedral of Akatosh and the Order of the Hour? Those are questions that are that the common person never asks, but that every one of the devoted should know the answer. Most consider Knight's Grave to be some sort of ruined graveyard, a memory of time emperor empire was strong and eternal. Few realize that the graveyard came later. The true meaning of the site waits in the depths below. In the beginning, the massive subterranean structure served as original headquarters of the outer order of the hour. Hmm. It was Inan Dikan, founder of the order who raised the stones of the headquarters. Legends claim that the site was always important to those who worship the dragon god. But I have located no records that indicate why this may be the case. Know that the order established cha chambers for the training and meditation, places for prayer and contemplation, and even areas where the members of the order could rest and relax. With the death of Inun and his original group of companions, great statues were raised in memory of the founders. The order would continue operating out of this location for nearly 100 years. During this period, more chambers were carved out and more improvements were made to the headquarters. As the first phase of the order came to a close and the organization disbanded, the place was locked up and turned over to the Cathedral of Akatosh for safekeeping. The cathedral, however, didn't know what to do with the facility. So the chanters and sermonizers decided to turn the subterranean structure into a crypt of sorts. All of the honored dead of the Order of the Hour were interred within its depths. Hmm. When Kaver Marula reestablished the Order, one of his first tasks was to dedicate the site that had become known as Knight's Grave to the memory of the Order's founders' members. Blessings and rituals were performed, giving substance to the exalted dead that lingered in the place's shadowy interior. Not wanting to disturb those resting herein, Kavir instead set out to build the enclave of the Hourglass, the Order's new home on the Gold Coast. So forget the legends, ignore the tales of Nixid infestations. Oh, that's those things. Minotaur protectors and exalted knights of the Order still patrolling the sealed chambers deep below. Knight's Grave is the proud and vibrant legacy of the Order of the Hour, and as followers of Akatosh, it is our leg legacy as well. So those uh, fairy-like things are Nixad, which I think are a Elder Scrolls creation. I don't think... I've never heard of those before, so I I'm not sure. That was interesting. Hmm. It's also interesting that there are mentors, mentor, mentors, <laughs> all over the outside here. <laughs> so the ruins of Knight, Knight's Grave are rumored to, date, rumored to date back to the founding of the Order of the Hour, and heroes of the Order are said to still haunt its shadowy depth. Maybe I'll get some fighters guild points for killing undead. So these are the uh, statues of the people who first made this place, I guess. Statue of Kavar Marula, a warrior priest of Akadosh, revived the Order of the Hour in Kvach in two, Second Era, 432 in response to the coming of the Longhouse Emperor. His devotion and guardianship remain the cornerstone of the Order's mission. Hmm. There is a bat on your, sh on your, uh, on your sword. 
And then you are the statue of Justia Destikus. Destikus? The original first sword of the Order of the Hour, Justia stood by Carver's side and devised the rigorous of Akatosh, eight traits to which all members must aspire. She is considered the second in devotion in Akat Akatosh's eyes. Hmm, interesting. So that was a hint to examine the statues. Uh... I'm not sure why the things don't go away now that I've looked at them, though. Maybe after I look at all of them? Uh, Rocio Olo, the third pillar of the Order of the Hours original complement of warrior priests, Rosilo Olo, was instrumental in ending the Order of the Black Worms infestation of Kavaj in Second Era 437. He dispatched eight cultists, their leader, single-handedly. Meow. Okay. And then you? Statue of Aminus Intis. In the order, if the order has a heart, it was Imnus Intis, Cavor's oldest friend and old, or, the order's first quartermaster. The fourth pillar of the house established the infrastructure for ensuring that Akatage's knights were the best fed, best equipped, and best trained force in Vach. So this is going to lead up to a, a uh, puzzle. Sure. Oh, I can't loot ya? Right. Hey. Oh, you can't get in? If you're going to oh. follow me anyway, why don't you come and help me figure out how to open these doors? <laughs> I knew the it. The matron sent you, didn't she? Wants to make sure I don't botch the kill? Very well. I don't mind the company. So... You got a puzzle here for me? These braziers will open the doors, but I haven't been able to figure out the proper sequence to ignite them. Maybe you'll have better luck. This place was once important to the Order of the Hour, back when the group was first founded. These statues are similar to the ones we passed on the stairs. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's significant. Yeah. I, I think I already know how to uh, how to do this. Let's take a quick look around the room, though. Maybe it has something to do with their rank or length of service to the order. Anything else? Okay. Do you remember which statue you encountered first when you descended the stairs? Yes. I do. <laughs> Is he going to keep doing that until I work on the puzzle? So is it in that order? Because I remember the last one, it said the fourth. So really, is it that easy? It's just one, two, three, four now. Let's see. Switch over to video. Or two. Screenshot mode. I wish they had an easier way to do this. At least they have like exit. You can just push the one button to get out of it. Instead of having to go to your settings. Alright, so we saw 
You first, I believe. And then it was you, Justia. And then you. And then, uh, the loyal knight. It worked. Well done. Let's hurry, assassin. So he would have been stuck there forever. They sent you to hunt me down. I suppose that's what happens when all the good assassins have already been eliminated. Lyra? Ah, a shadow. Clever. Very clever. The black dragons using shadows to track our progress. Just trying to peek into the other room. Okay, just trying. thing is when they move out of the uh the circle then you know it doesn't affect them anymore unless it's poisoned or something i guess That's the point of using the bow and arrow right now. It's trying to level it up. <laughs> it does work better when you try. You were my brother once. Join me. Forget your obligations. Join you. I am going to send you to the void, traitor. Oh, we got a spider. <laughs> Not many people would be uh, too sad about that.
I'm getting to a high enough level that it's going to be pretty rare to find books that uh, upgrade a skill. The Brotherhood is a pox. It deserves to be destroyed. What lies did Artorius fill your head with, Lyra? It does kind of seem like she was brainwashed a little bit, but I mean, there was something else going on. I mean, she was ordered to kill her brothers and sisters for for some reason. Oh, hang on, hang on. My my kitty is wanting to climb into my lap, so I need to get her out of my room. Just a sec. I knew, I knew she was in the room <laughs> and I had closed the door on her, so she was locked in here with me, but sometimes she'll just sleep all afternoon, so. Not this time, though. Wrath of Sithus? Did you see that? Yes. That wasn't one of Lyra's shadows. Like something out of the old stories we scared the initiates with. Wait, but... Unless that's here after Lyris. Because Sithis is on... Technically on our side. He's one of the Dark Brotherhood gods. That is cool looking. I wonder if I can get a better picture of it. <laughs> Not really. Not without the uh, Vince post in the way. Brotherhood, the Order. I am done being used, Venom. Just leave me alone. I can't do that, Lyra. You brought this on yourself. I just assumed that he was going to jump over to me, but I guess not. to kill you <laughs> like uh, I'll think about it for a second no no hmm. interesting it seems that gate blocks our way who's locked One moment. I think I can get through that break in the bars oh So somebody was locked in there? Let's see if this switch opens the gate. No, but it did open this other door. This is still my kill, assassin. When one door opens, the best course is to leap right through. Try to find another path. If you hurry, maybe I'll let you help me make the kill. Uh, well, I could just climb that also. I mean, it doesn't look that hard. <laughs> Follow me and you die, assassin. You can't defeat me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh! Oh! Alrighty. more than 
one. Oh no! <laughs> I don't like how sometimes it seems so easy to accidentally switch your weapon. Okay, what do I have? What is that? Stealth drought. That's why I need to change to that one. <laughs> Trying to heal myself and I'm just making myself more sneaky when I don't need it. <laughs> Alrighty. So I need to come down and around and then up this way. Alright. What do I hear? Kind of creepy. Pumpkin. <clears throat> you are a determined one, I'll give you that. You must have really bought into the Brotherhood's lies. Oh. oh, nice one. How do I get down below? There's like a couple of guys down there. Yeah, you see him? There's like one right there and then there's another one. Somewhere else down there. Pretty sure I saw it too. Maybe that's just for ambiance. Because I don't really, I don't know if I saw anything lootable down there. I like it when I can sneak into a place and just start killing. Like, I don't have any restrictions, you know? <laughs> I don't have to, like, not be noticed. Then they made me kill them.
Yeah, I'm still not sure that it was uh, the Dark Brotherhoods. Oh, I can't remember the Black Hand that really told her to do. <sighs> okay, is he dead? Hmm, <laughs> not quite. I almost had her, but Lyra was always a step faster than me. Oh, he has I a big old sword the in his of chest. Sithis assassin. The dread father hunts her too, just like in the old story. You're the blade of Sithis. Kill her, and the dread father will claim her soul. Man. Man, I've lost like a sister and like what? Two, three brother brothers now in here. <clears throat> Sundas. All of these ancient troubles visiting our sanctuary puts me in mind of my previous sanctuary back in the Blackwood Borderlands. I never wanted that wanted I never want what happened there to happen to my home again. I suppose that's why I keep such a mer mer meticulous records. If someone in my sanctuary breaks the tenants, I want to have absolute proof of that. And if we're falsely accused of breaking the tenants, then I want to be able to point to the appropriate journal and show the black hand that this time it, w it made a mistake. So I write down everything. Midas. The matron asked me how I was feeling today. Why? Does she know something I don't? Hmm. Curtis, uh, Hildegard's fur was all over my living space today. <laughs> I told her not to come around when she's in wolf form. I'm making a note of this transgression, just for the record. <laughs> Curtis, I wonder what would happen if I mixed goat milk with vile beer. Mm. Remember to try that the next time Kor brings in supplies. Mornedus. Kanak said hurtful things about my scales and my tail. Someday I'm going to inform the speaker about the way he treats his family. Curtis. Another one of the, the family was found murdered today. Poor Symdal. There was something familiar about the way he was killed. I need to think about that and check my old notebook. Curtis, the speaker seemed displeased with me. He kept throwing dark glances at me every time I jotted down what somebody said. Or maybe not. He always throws dark glass glances at us. Freitas, I listened to a sermonizer today. I started taking notes, as usual, but I soon became so upset that I couldn't read my own handwriting. How dare they say such lies about the Brotherhood? I must inform the matron about this. Lourdes, Simbar was tortured and killed. Sadness fills the sanctuary like water fills a lake. My heart breaks for poor Maribel. She so enjoyed for <laughs> fornicating with Simbar <laughs> as often as possible. Maybe she'd appreciate reviewing all of my extensive notes on their coupling. He was just a big ol' pervy <laughs> spy. <laughs> Sindis. The new blade asks the most interesting questions. I need to jot these down. What do we do after we get to Blackwood? Good question. <laughs> How do we do that? Sometimes new blade is a bit dense. <laughs> what do you need me to do? <laughs> I could have been inappropriate here. <laughs> Wasn't this sanctuary abandoned? Not paying attention. Already explained that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> every time every time when I asked him a question and he said, that's interesting. I'm going to write that down. There they are. <laughs> so I guess it was like four times. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Mourned us. Lyria Vieira. That's a name I haven't thought about in a long time. We were friends once, brother and sister. She was dead, or so I thought. Now I discover she's not only alive, but she's the one who's purified our sanctuary. And now I find out that she's the Black Dragon, the murderer responsible for killing my current brothers and sisters. I can't fathom why she turned against the Dark Brotherhood. But it doesn't matter. She needs to die. Midas. 
I remember a night back in the old sanctuary. I was a new initiate, and so was Lyra. Lyra. So was Lyra. The seasoned brothers and sisters enjoyed trying to frighten us with all kinds of scary stories. I remember one in particular when Lyra and I were listening with a combination of tension and fascination. It was the story of Bromber, an assassin who betrayed his brother. He was mortally wounded by the sister who was sent to punish him. She left him barely alive so that when the wrath of Sithis appeared to claim his soul, he'd be completely aware of what was happening to him. That scared us both so much that neither of us could sleep soundly for more than a week. Why did I think of that? Wonder. Hmm. Curtis, the matron. Curtis. The matron ordered me to track down the black dragon and kill her. I am honored and saddened by the trust she places in. So did the wrath of uh, Sithis come and claim his soul? Because I didn't see that. And I remember him saying that that's going to happen to Lyra. I didn't think that happened... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what uh, their... Okay. What their uh, after death belief is. I think we went over it and I, just, I can't remember what it is right now. wish that volley uh paralyzed well i guess i could probably put a potion on to paralyze them I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I need to go up here. I I'm not sure. I don't want to spend too much time going the wrong way. Maybe I'll have to go this way. I'm not sure. What did the Brotherhood give me? Nothing but guilt and shame. Okay, that's all you have to say. Do not see. Oh, you are in the sarcophagi. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I tried to roll and I couldn't get past the uh, the debris on the ground. <laughs> Hey you guys, don't let me forget 
that I want to go through the uh, local dungeon before we wrap up the Dark Brotherhood. Um, I don't... Is it a public? Oops. I think it might be public. I'll have to double check though. Because it didn't say public. I think it does, it's supposed to say that. Oh. He's just a uh, few steps ahead of me. Okay, that sounded like a horse. <laughs> there were horse down horse down here with us. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We're up here now. The order they offered me redemption. But in the end, it was just more lies. Hmm. So, the order she's a part of now has lied to her. Do you know whose lies hurt the most? Primate Artorius. Hmm. So that's the the guy who's in charge of the order she's a part of now. The hour of the hourglass? The order of the hourglass. Artorius isn't as pious as he pretends. You know, he even had me murder his beloved mentor. Uh, I was wondering about that. If you remember one of the past uh, quests, they were saying how uh, the previous uh, ru uh, ruler, I don't know what they call themselves. Like, well, I know, but I can't remember right now. Uh, died. It seemed a little strange at the time, but they weren't able to, like, say it was, you know, murder. that noise oh my gosh that just totally freaked me out I thought there was like a it was like a Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom there's a ball like a, a big stone ball behind me that was rolling down the hall <laughs> kind of what it sounded like <laughs> Something about the next ad? Hmm. And they have so many books in this game. Like, you would spend so much time, like, reading books instead of playing the game if you, like, did that during, uh, a playthrough. Hmm. 
are several statues of the same people. And now I killed Green Venom Tongue too. Yes. That is true. Why did you do that? Self pres self preservation, probably. Yes. I am probably gonna have to sell some things pretty soon. I'm gonna guess that I'm getting pretty full on item. Yeah, 52. I actually pretty I managed to keep a pretty light load, I guess. This character. I wonder, if we betray the Brotherhood, does the wrath of Sithis really claim our souls? I think we're about to find out. Green Venom Tongue challenged me and failed. What hope do you have? Even my shadows are more substantial than you. Where are you? Show yourself. Now's your chance to impress me, assassin. Show me every flaw, every weakness. That's gonna be like, that was way too easy. of my shadows you dispatch, I learn one more way to kill you! <laughs> Primate Artorius manipulated all of us. He led us to this cliff. Will you leap and continue to follow his lies? Really? And now you're just running away? <sighs> Finish it! Gosh darn it. <sighs> okay. I told Artorius the location of your sanctuary. Brema was good enough to reveal it to me before I slit her throat. The order of the hour will purify your sanctuary. You cannot stop it. Ah. Uh, the rest of my brothers and sisters and the matron. No. Whoa. Now that is pretty cool. Uh, I guess they are the order. And here we are. I'm ready to die. Let's see if you're good enough to kill me. And then you disappear. <sighs> yeah, so I think that they are like at least a 
a div like a a split off of the blades. At least that's what it seems like. Cause I mean, there's they, some of the things they've said, and some of the things that um like they're. God is the Akatosh, which is the father of the dragons. Remind me of who I was. That's why I'm going to kill you. If not redemption, then let me have battle. At least in combat, the lies we tell are pure. Ah. Wow. <laughs> the screams of the dying. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I have here? Swift survivor like what is that good? So it restores magic, grants major intellect, increases my magic recovery by 20% for 30 seconds. Oh, you know what? I could eat something. That would probably help. Do I not have any food? Are you kidding me? I have ale. Oh, here we go. Shh. Went right by it. <laughs> That should help out. See, I just, I don't like, like, the swift survivor elixir only lasts for like 30 seconds. Seems, I don't know, I, it seems kind of worthless that it, those sort of potions only last 30 seconds. I don't know, maybe 30 seconds are longer than I think. You remind me of who I was. That's why I'm going to kill you. If not redemption, then let me have battle. At least in combat, the lies we tell are pure. Okay, so she is sucking up my health right now, I believe. That's that wasn't me with that red line. I think that was well, I don't think so. No. What's happening? The stories were true. Sithis! Have mercy! And she got dragged down. <laughs> Wait, is that a glitch? <laughs> He's like, uh, his name is still there and I kind of see something right there. <laughs> oh, and now it's gone. Yeah, uh, so that red line that we saw, um, my assassin character, not this one, the, uh, the other one that I play, that's a red guard. Uh, she is a night blade. 
And one of her potions, one of the things that she has that she, uh, suck up the health of the people around her. I think I'm thinking of the right one. And it looks like that. So I think that's what Lyra was doing. I don't think that's, my dragon knight has that power. The Black Dragon's Journal, part two. I sought out the ruins of Knight's grave after the enclave of the hourglass began to feel too confining, too full of life. I don't deserve to mingle with such, so many vibrant living beings. Death has become more than my vocation, it's a vital part of my life, so why not linger in this dead? I admired the statues of the stairs on the stairs that descended into the ruins. The founders of the hour, Order of the Hour were great and faithful warriors. For a time, I was proud proud to count myself among their number, but now I'm not so sure. It seems that the founders or whoever came after them set out to protect the place from unwanted visitors. Obviously, the Breezers serve as a key of sorts to open the way into half of the order. I just need to figure out how best to turn this key. Determine the order in which to ignite the brazers was child's play. <laughs> I'm surprised that more people haven't found their way into the hollow depths. There must be another way to gain entry into the ruin. How else have these minotaurs made their way down here? I had to kill one of the proud beasts when it surprised me. After that, I took great pains to avoid the creature. After all, no one has ordered me to murder them, and I suppose they serve as guardians of a sort. Why not allow them to continue in that role? Just beyond the armory, I encountered a chamber dedicated to the Order's original first sword. I admit I feel a certain connection to Justia. I wonder if she'd smile upon one such as I for taking up her weapon. Oh, it's interesting. So she was using Justia's sword. I spent a long time praying in the circle of pillars known as the Paragon's Crown. Maybe Akatosh heard my plea, for I soon discovered a tunnel into an even more ancient port portion of the ruins. It appears that the Order built their original home atop an ancient cave that harkened back to a more ancient time. An impressive and, dare I say it, frightening statue of Akat Akatash dominates the cave. I can only assume that the place owes its existence to the Elysian Order and their efforts to raise Akatash above all other gods. Even the scattered cages hint at darker rites than those practiced by primate Arturus is ill. Cathedral of Thach. The primate, the Order, the Brotherhood. Damn them all. For turning me into what I've become. Perhaps down here in the shadow of Akatash's fearsome presence, I'll finally discover who I'm truly I'll true I'm truly meant to be. So yeah, I guess she did have to knock down a wall for me to be able to come down here. Man, I, I almost expect there to be, like, a word wall, like, right here. <laughs> Interesting uh, that we haven't, they don't have any of those that I know of in Elder Scrolls Online. Um, I mean, they're not just in Skyrim, are they? And, I mean, if so, they have Riften and Winterhold, I believe, in Elder Scrolls Online. So if there were any word walls in Dyrum in those areas, I wonder if they're in Elder Scrolls Online. I'll have to make a mental note to check that out. Not like, you know, I'm a... I'm not... My, our characters here aren't uh, Dragonborn, but, you know, still, it's cool. They had that. Man, it's kind of creepy down here.
So we've killed her. It's not supposedly the end of the quest line. Yeah, I'm only at eight. Shouldn't there be at least two more quests then? I mean, I think, well, three more, because I, th I thought we had one more to go and, and then two more after that, but I guess I haven't looked at, where am I? <laughs> oh, wow. All the... I haven't uh, checked out the actual quests online because I don't want to spoil it for myself because this is new for me. Um, so I'm not sure. Let's see if there's anything behind the waterfall. No. That has not worked yet. <laughs> I don't think. I, I always check waterfalls and, uh, in this game. I don't think I've found a single secret behind one yet. Well, I guess I could fast travel over. I need to head back over here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take a break. Um, so I'll be back shortly.
am back. And I hope the stream is looking okay. Because <laughs> uh, my sister <laughs> was uh, down the hall. And she was just like, I was going to watch your stream, but then there were lagging issues. And I was worried that us both on the internet was like, we're like creating lagging issues. <laughs> and so I was just like, well, <laughs> uh, there was a, my software encoder was supposed to do that update that I was talking about earlier. And I kind of didn't do it. And it said that there might be issues, but I haven't noticed any issues. So, if anybody's watching this in the future, I probably just took the recording that I'm making. <laughs> and if there were issues, I uh, just uploaded the recording instead. Yeah. I don't get a lot of people viewing my live streams yet, because I'm still a, a small fish in a large pond. Like I like. <laughs> uh, either way, it's fun to play. So. And I've kind of got, I'm very used to just talking to myself. <laughs> so, there's, there's that. So it looks like the uh, order of the hour have not started attacking yet. I forgot about that for a split second. I was just like, oh, uh, uh, oh, that seems okay. Oh, hey, everybody. The uh, well, I would say it's the last of our group, but it, there's a woman missing, that dark elf. The Black Dragon killed Green Venom Tongue, didn't she? Yes. Damn her to Oblivion's darkest realm, and damn me for sending another brother to his death. But what else? Tell me the rest, Assassin. Well, we we took we took her down. I killed the Black Dragon. As it was ordered, so was it done. I'm impressed, Assassin. Lyra turned her back on the Night Mother and killed so many of the family, but you brought her down. The void gathers all souls. But something else troubles you. Talk to me. Primite Artarius knows the location of the sanctuary. Rima revealed it before she died. That's Lyra. Oh, I don't know why she just called her Brima. I think that might be, might have been Elias you name before. The black dragon made our sister talk. I'd bring Lyra back to life and kill her again if such was within my power. Arturius knows our location. As soon as he gathers the courage, he'll send the Order of the Hour against us. Do you really think the Order of the Hour will attack the Sanctuary? Eventually. When Arturius feels the time is right. But he'll hesitate to make the first move. To send his soldiers into our Viper's nest. We have time to prepare. In the meantime, I'll confer with the speaker. When you return, the primate will die. Hmm. You know, it's interesting. When you play this on the PC, you can highlight over your, what you receive, your, um, your loot, and see the information about it. Um, I find it interesting that you, there's no way to do that here. And it's even more interesting that when they pop this up to get this, this doesn't pop up just like right here. And you can see the stuff above you. This would indicate that you could push left or right to be able to see the stats on that information. But instead, they just kind of made it a few steps more, which can get a little bit tedious when you're going through a lot of quests, and go down and complete the quest. You have to, 
You know what I mean? Just why why do I have to click on those two things? It's, there's no point to it. Just start down here. Okay. So the new blade brought down the black dragon. And I didn't expect you'd survive your first contract. All our brothers and sisters murdered. But we are safe now, right? The black dragon's dead. The assassin ended the threat of the black dragon. But we won't be safe until Artorius joins her in the void. But the primate speaks for Akatosh. Isn't that blasphemy? It can't be blasphemy if we don't adhere to that religion, Hilda. I want to plunge my dagger into him. Once for every brother and sister he's killed. Artorius will die. You have my word on that. And you'll each have a hand in the slaying. Now move. We have preparations to make. Oh. Tanak, it's good to see you on your feet. Alright. That is the end of this quest. Uh, but I should be able to do the next one, hopefully. Let's, um, I think you need to, like, respawn into the area. So, I want to capture, uh, Grazda. So I'll go up to the Way Shrine, um, and get her being like, hey, uh, hey, it's kind of core. <laughs> uh, get her be like, hey, the matron wants to see you or something. I kind of foregoed uh, doing, picking like an experience scroll or anything like that because I think I'm low on them. I might even be out. So, I kind of want to, I don't know, save them for. Assassin, they need you at the sanctuary. Ah. For my Templar who I'm trying to level up. Hey, Grazda. There's something happening at the sanctuary. That old crow, the speaker, he asked for you specifically. Oh, any idea what's going on? You killed the black dragon, right? Uh-huh. My guess? It's time to murder the primate of Akatosh. All right. Uh, but what makes you think that? <laughs> Everyone's getting ready for battle. Even Astara has left the sanctuary. The only one still there is Speaker Tyrannus. And he asked that I send you to him as soon as I saw you. Best not to keep the speaker waiting. Okay, I'll uh, go see what he wants. Ah. And I got all sorts of items that I don't need, right? But I'm not over encumbered, so it's okay. I need to move most of those weapons and equipment to the bank so that I can deconstruct them with another character. Oh, and I am so excited. I got my first master writ with my other character the other day. So, for those of you who don't know how the crafting system works here, um, you. You have multiple, like you can do woodworking writs and well, you can do crafting with woodworking, blacksmithing, jewelry, enchanting, enchant, uh, provisioning for food, alchemy. I think those are all of them. And so you can just make things and you can, uh, level things up. You can deconstruct things to get materials back. And then um, you can also do daily writs so that you actually get some money and items like crafting items or recipes and stuff like that. And after you do so many crafting writs and you learn so many different styles like racial styles and 
stuff like that, you can eventually be able to obtain a master writ, which is like a rare writ. Um, and you can get good money, good recipes from those, learn very useful items. So I'm very excited about that. Oh, it's just like, who is that? <laughs> uh, you're not who I wanted to talk to. I'm gonna talk to the speaker. I haven't really done much crafting on camera in this game, just because, I don't know, if nobody has shown any interest in the scene. Hey, Nervosa, where is the speaker? If you guys want to see more crafting, let me know, because otherwise I'll just assume it'll bore you. <laughs> hey, speaker. I wonder if... No, I think it shows up on the camera either way, or the map either way. To uh, be able to go over to the supplier um, and buy something, because I think you can only do it once a day. Hey. The Black Hand has studied the situation, and we have devised a strategy for dealing with the Order of the Hour. We will strike first, attacking from the shadows and winnowing their numbers while you stalk our true enemy. Primate Artorius. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do when I reach an Arturios? I want you to kill Artorius and fill the void with his blood. Let the Order see what it means to challenge the Dark Brotherhood. Show them what happened when you hunt the hunters. <clears throat> but reaching Artorius will require all of your brothers and sisters. All of us. Artorius is just one man. One man who hides behind thick walls and a small army. We sent Tanik to Gvatch to find a way to breach the cathedral's defenses. Astara and the rest of your brethren will follow after you. Get to Artorius and kill well, assassin. All right, Arturios will die. Meet Tanik and Gvatch. You should have had plenty of time to find a way past Artorius' defenses so that you can enter the cathedral. Other members of your family will join you once the way has been opened. All right. Uh, why has Arturios decided to go against the Brotherhood? They do make me ask some stupid question. As some in power reach higher levels, the rungs they stand upon become more tenuous. I assume that since Artorius once used the Brotherhood to rise to the top, he began to worry that someone would do the same to stop him. He decided to strike first. Hmm. Uh, Arturios actually performed the Black Sacrament? Sacrament? Did we know that? Does that surprise you? People from all walks of life seek the services we provide. Nobles, priests, commoners. It makes no difference to the Night Mother. Artorius wanted to become primate. He asked us to remove his predecessor, and we complied. Hmm. How can we fight the Order of the Hour? They're an army. And we're a collection of lone assassins. I say let them come. Let them march into our empty halls as the shadows close around them. We are those shadows, cutting them down one by one. When night falls upon the Order, it will be everlasting. Hmm. Where's Astera? I expected to give... I expected her to give me those, these orders. These orders come from the Black Hand. Besides, your matron has another task. She leads your brethren on a hunt to pick off the order, reduce their numbers. They'll be at your side when you need them most. Mm -hmm. And then a primate will die. I really don't. <laughs> I really um, 
don't know about the black hand. I mean, I know they're technically me. They're the Dark Brotherhood. They're the people that uh, speak with the Night Mother and the Dread Father and decide who dies, um, listens to like uh, the, the sacrifice assassin ritual thing. But I still think there was something really shadowy going on with Lyris being ordered to kill her own brothers and sisters by the Black Hand. Just, it seems suspicious. And I don't trust that guy. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe it's just, you know, because that's who he is of a Dark Brotherhood speaker. Um, maybe that's just what he's supposed to be like. But uh, he makes me suspicious of So this might be the last quest. Let's check. Wait, let me, I'm gonna log online real quick because I want to make sure if I know it is the last one. Um, I thought that it goes by reputation. So if I'm at eight reputation, eight quests, then there's two more to go. But uh, I I don't know. Let's look. Um, It's like all these things pop up, all these different websites. It's like, okay, I don't like that website. I don't like that website. Where's that one I like? Oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, so we are on. I know, I could just go to the main screen. It would show me. Filling the void. This is the last quest last story quest that is interesting but I'm only at but I'm only at the uh... I don't want to start reading it. I don't want to give anything away but I'm only at eight <laughs> yeah I'm only at eight I guess maybe they do that so that you have to work for those extra two points to be able to get the uh, the bonuses that you get like with top tier uh, reputation. I guess that doesn't that's not, that would make sense. So we're going to finish the Dark Brotherhood today. Because I got a the whole afternoon free. <laughs> uh, hopefully my stream is not lagging. <laughs> yeah. My stream info on Twitch, where I'm streaming right now, says it's excellent. So hopefully it's true. Oh, I never stopped to uh, upgrade my mount, so, so I'll do that while I'm in town. I'll just run over and do that now before I forget. There you go. 
Oh, did I go past it? Yes. I was thinking it was the other town. Um, where it's like the way shrine is on the south side of town and the stable is like just outside on the north side. I love poetry. But they'll never silence her voice. Her sermons will live on. Yeah, there's quests over there. Well, maybe we'll finish the Dark Brotherhood today and we'll continue exploring the Gold Coast uh, in next week's stream because I did still want to do the dungeon. Hey, Tanakh. If I had known I'd have to do manual labor, I never would have joined the Brotherhood. But I found a way into the cathedral that isn't locked up tight. Great. It just took some digging. No, oh. really. Some actual digging. <laughs> I, I assumed, since you were holding a shovel. <laughs> Where is this amazing entrance you've uncovered? Inside this mausoleum. When they expanded the catacombs under the cathedral some years back, the floor of this crypt collapsed. If you're squeamish, don't worry. Somebody was kind enough to relocate the bodies. Hmm. I had no trouble expanding the hole. Okay. Sounds like you had to do some heavy lifting. Heavy lifting? More like heavy digging. I had to clear some rubble out of the way. But now there's a passage that's big enough to maneuver through. Hmm. Then I guess that's our way inside. The Kolovian people are known for the devotion to the Imperial Eight Divines, so it's not surprising that the Church of the Primate of Ak Akatosh is located in Kvach on the western edge of the Kolon Kolovian Highlands. The western... Hmm. Okay. Oh. So I guess he's not coming with me. Okay. I'm gonna have to sneak a little bit, aren't I? I kind of feel like I'm, they're gonna make me do that. We never looked at We never looked at the uh prize I got. Uh the treasure the It was like a cape or something, wasn't it? opened it yet. Leg armor. 
Oh, that's heavy for mine. Well, that's okay. I kind of decided that my uh, Nightblade, that's my highest level character that I actually don't like anymore. <laughs> she needs to be in like a heavy armor. Um, so maybe I'll give that to her. I don't actually sell it. Um, it's only worth it though if I can give her a she whole piece that. Are all of these empty? Who's that for? Cat. Khajiit. I love the powers that have like a extended effect. It's kind of killed them off after a minute. <laughs> okay. So she was talking to her uh, her beast, I guess. <laughs> This car core. <laughs> huh. Man, I love core and Hildegard's re uh, uh, relationship. <laughs> I hope neither of them get hurt. Just like, buddy, da da da. <laughs> I don't see what's uh, happening just over in that area. <laughs> that might be beneficial like with every of the characters is uh i think one of the fighter guilds things uh what is it skilled tracker no that's not It's like major savage, savage -er. Maybe it's undaunted. Hmm, I haven't gone over to the undaunted yet. I think I could. 
now if I wanted to. I think I'm at a high enough level. I'll have to try to figure that out because it gives you, um... Uh... <laughs> I was wondering, we saw all the juveniles. I was thinking, hmm, what's a big one look like? <laughs> Anyway, it gives, uh, I think it, like, it causes more damage. It, like, pinpoints the organs of your people that you're, the animals that you're trying to attack and stuff. Hildegard, which way did you? Ow! Dude, I could use some help over here. I'll deal with the little ones. Okay, thanks. Where did Hildegard go, though? Oh, he's she's not so bad. I mean, you need to stay off of the, uh, this middle area with all the lightning. That was intense. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Yeah, you too. There you are, Cole. Did you need to stop and rest again? I never rest when there's trouble around. We dealt with the big monster, and now I'm taking a break. <laughs> Uh, uh, you guys, there's a wall here. <laughs> okay, I guess they know a secret way in and they're not going to share it. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Makes me feel uh, real welcome. <laughs> uh, let's see. What was I going to do? I'm going to do something. Oh yeah, I just got boots. Yeah. So that is way better than I want to have, and I don't have the flanking strategist set, so it's not really worth keeping that. All right. Pumpkin! That I cannot. Aw. Won't let me get up. Aww. I'm pretty sure those are the eggs of the Wamasu, the beast that we just killed. You said one of the pirates saw a werewolf. What's such a beast doing down here? I need aid. Move. Ah. Hey, healer, you need to die first. Maybe not first, because I think the other guy died too. <laughs> feel bad for these people. I mean, I guess they are a little killing people, kind of like as in like a Only witch hunt. Will appease the dark ones. I cannot complain, but that does not seem to stop me. Spread out. Circle around. Dara, assassin, this way. Maybe we can get through that gate. Is it locked like the last one? I should have brought a pry bar. <sighs> it's sealed up tight. We can't get through this way. Artorius really doesn't want any company, does he? Wait, someone's coming. We'll find you again, assassin. <laughs> uh... 
What? Okay, so I'm supposed to sneak down this way, I guess. <laughs> First one of you order fanatics that moves what are you waiting gets for? an arrow Get in, in the eye. Get in there and kill those murdering deviants. Alright, good to see you here. I wasn't sure how active you were with this with the Brotherhood. in our affairs for the last time, murderers. That one's trouble, assassin. Prepare yourself for a real fight, Brotherhood dogs. This ends now. <laughs> Just say, they're green. <laughs> those militant fools but I appreciate the help not a problem uh, I was I see yeah. I missed all the fun Grazda secure this chamber assassin the cathedral should be just up ahead when you reach Artorius I'll be right behind you so you guys are just gonna stand here while I run ahead and take care of things Okay. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure I couldn't loot those. They're crypts. Or, yeah, crypts. <laughs> Quiet. I thought I heard something. Somebody just help me out. Hmm. I'm not sure how I. Hmm. There was like a power there that killed them both. And... Ah. Assassins in the catacombs. Show me. Hey guys.
look at oh uh, probably not real gold I'm probably just as bronze or something <laughs> the time of the Ebonheart pack you guys can pause it I'll go through slow oh that's it that's all two pages three no four <laughs> if I'm doing my math right that's actually like four sheets of the page <laughs> All right, let's check. Uh, what's is my food still working for another hour? Okay. Mm, and I don't have any of the experience scrolls. I don't think my banker has any, but I'll double check. Oh, I have one. Man, I know I would have taken it already. Oh well. Better late than never. Um... I want to get a picture. And so, the assassins finally arrive. Yep. Time to die, Artorius. Time. Time is my domain, murderer, not yours. You. Oh, wait. You're not a healer. I'm gonna guess that I need to kill his people first. Let the dragon god guide my hand. Ah. Like, you are pretty tough. That's because you're the primate. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, you froze everybody. Not fair, dude. Not fair. Let the dragon god guide my hand. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Go! No! No! Ah! Let me go! <sighs> How was I able to break free? Maybe I should poison my... I don't know how it works, but... Well... Uh, let's see... Oh! Guys... You guys... Healer! on my side, assassins! Ah! I was able to search. Come on! <sighs> when paralyzed by Primate Arterius, use Break Free to escape his ex. That's what I was trying to do. I 
to flank. Oh, it's just like a never ending amount of people, I guess. So really. Well, I can't attack him though when he has that. Dragon guide my hand. Come on. Ah. How many times will I die? He is one tough cookie. <laughs> Does that hurt him at all? If I just attack him? Aid me. From the side. Health on my bar. I don't have health on my bar. Ah. Great. The one time I was actually able to break free, <laughs> I have no health to use. Protect your servant. I just automatically I will not beg for mercy from the likes of you you still have to sneak though well I do Artorius, may the Dread Father grant you the welcome you so richly deserve. Stand tall, brothers and sisters. We are the Dark Brotherhood. Now back to the sanctuary, my assassins. We have friends to remember and a victory to celebrate. <laughs> uh, all right, and then they just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that was tough I mean the hardest part of that was uh, trying to break free for some reason it wouldn't let me when I was I died the first three times it just would not let me break free and then I don't know if the game like is like 
she needs some help. I'm gonna let her break free really easily, because <laughs> uh, somehow I broke free those last couple of times, and I don't know. I was doing the same thing as. There's a shrine to Akatog. Stop it. <laughs> so, oh, so we, okay. So I came in here before and I came down here and I was just like, what, we can't go through here? And, um, that's because it was for this quest. It was like a special. Okay. So now what? Just head back to the sanctuary? It's having a little bit of trouble, I think. Pulling in the uh, area. Not too bad. Oh. Yeah, so I need to head over here. Actually, the way shrine is like. Ooh. So Grazda is not over here, like usual. It was only there to uh, let us know when it was a new quest was available. She probably has some place to hang out over at the sanctuary now. So I'll have to continue the dailies to try to get up to uh, up to level ten achievement. Um, I don't really want to. I don't know. I think that would be a little bit boring for everybody. So I'll probably do that off camera, and um, I don't know. I'll probably update you guys that one of my future live streams um, on the status of that or the achievement they get for that. Hey, speaker. Welcome home, assassin. I know what occurred, but I want to hear it from your lips. Say the words and say them loud. Primate Arturus is dead! You mean like that? Then the head of the beast has been cut off. Well done, assassin. We will reach out to Count Carolus and the Order of the Hour to make sure this ill-conceived war ends here. Okay. Is there anything else we need to do, Speaker? Regarding Artorius and the Black Dragon? No. That threat has passed. But there is one more thing. Step back, Assassin, and prepare yourself. Uh, okay. Sweet mother, sweet mother, 
Look upon your child and smile. For the unworthy have been cleansed in blood and in fear. Her heart shines with the color of night. Her song sings with the music of life. Her gaze inspires fear and her hands grant the gift of death. The Dread Father acts through her. And her work has just begun. Step forward, loyal sister. Step forward, my silencer. What's going on, guys? Hail, <laughs> sisters. What was that? The initiation? Because I thought I was already in the group. I like, I've been doing some hard work for you guys. <laughs> you are a silencer now, an honored member of our family. I expect you to fill the Dread Father's void with many, many souls. Go huh. forth, silencer, and may your blade never lose its edge. Okay. Thank you. That freaked me out. <laughs> it seems like you're here more now that you're a silencer than when you were my assassin. It's good to see you, my friend. Yeah, okay. Hey, guys. I look forward to working with you again, silencer. Perhaps we could share a murder spree sometime soon, yes? <laughs> Oh, Cor. <laughs> I am glad Altorius is dead. Does that make me a bad person? No. He took Mirabel and Simba and the others away from us. Ultimately, their deaths are on his head. I'm glad I was there to see you finish him off, Silencer. Hildegard just, just seems like a strange member of the Dark Brother. I mean, she seems so innocent, you know? Um. Yeah. If Green Venom Tongue were still here, he'd be writing this all down in that journal of his, preserving the moment for all eternity. Well, he's not here, so thank the Dread Father we won't have to remember a thing. Silence, sir, is it? Mm hmm. I suppose that's fitting. After all, your name is on four of my top contracts now. <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's just a Dark Brotherhood joke, my friend. <laughs> I see your sense of humor is still in a distressing state of disrepair. Oh, I wonder if somebody were to put out a contact for somebody who is on the Dark Brotherhood, if uh, they would still get assassinated. Hmm. Hey, Grazpa. Perhaps the speaker or Elam have something for you. It's entirely possible. <laughs> But I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what about the dark elf that's been like kind of mean to me? <laughs> uh, where is she? Uh, hey, Astera. I can't remember her name right now. Uh. I'm just gonna go through and you can pause it if you want. Man, you guys updated pretty quick. From appearing in the main hall. Yeah, it's a cool down period. Uh, seriously though, there was that. <laughs> I don't think she died, and she didn't help out in our uh, assassination of Primate Arterius. But oh, actually, let's change my costume. Let's uh show those. Uh, colors. The black hand robe. Only those who have been inducted into the deepest secrets of the mysteries of Dark Brotherhood are authorized to wear the black hand robe. 
uh, for completing the quest to fill in the void. Not bad. And then I also got... Okay, I got a container <laughs> with uh, a touch weapon. That this touch weapon. Rest uh, restoration staff. Hmm. Well, my main, my character right now can't use it. But my Templar I think. <clears throat> you guys know who I'm talking about, right? I like, I stopped to talk to her and she was just kind of mean. Hey, sea foam. You? Who are you? I trust your contracts have been abundant oh. and lucrative. Oh, this is the chick from who got who told us about this to begin with. I've been wondering what happened to you. I think you lost an eye. <laughs> do I know you? <laughs> you don't remember me, do you? We ran into each other on the streets of Anvil some time back, when it seems both of us were looking to attract the attention of the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I should probably be cursing your name, you know? I'd been trying to grab their attention for days, and then you arrived to haunt the Gold Coast like some malignant wraith. Hmm. I had to redouble my efforts. Hmm. How many people did you kill exactly? Hmm, let's see. I kept a list. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Looks like 13. You murdered 13 people just to get the attention speaker? That's how it's done, isn't it? Death is our business, and business is good. I'm quoting the matron, of course. Uh... Oh, you should try to be more discreet. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I suppose you would know. The way I hear it, you're the sanctuary's new darling. I'll consider what you said. Yeah, I, I think I needed to tell you that since I'm the silencer now, and I've been... The dread father spoke to me. I had a duty. <laughs> Good. This is obedient duty, not murderous playtime. Sure, sure. Well, I'd best be off. May the Dread Father guide your blade. Mm -hmm. Yours as well. Wow. Well, I'm glad to uh, find out what happened to her, because I was wondering. <laughs> Yeah, it won't let me actually attack. Yeah, I'm trying to attack him right now and it won't let me. I was gonna do that like in the like first episode or something like that, and then I was like, oh, I don't want everybody to get angry at me. <laughs> but yeah, so she's standing here usually. Tanak. Grazda. Hello. Maybe she got kicked out. Maybe she was killed. Hmm. Let me. I want. <laughs> That's driving me nuts because I was. I kept thinking, who are you? <laughs> Why, uh. Do the other brothers and sisters in the uh, Dark Brotherhood talk to me and, you know, I have quests with them, but I'm not really even sure who you are.
Hmm. Okay, this might need to take a little bit of research um, offline because I can't remember her name. So I'll have to go back and look at my other quests to figure out what her name is. What could I do? Dark Brotherhood Men. Oh, was it Lyr Lex Lyrexis Novotion? Novotion? No, that's a skeleton guy. Sorry, my phone started speaking to me. I think it was a dark elf. She wasn't a wood elf. I'm pretty sure she was a dark elf. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure this out later. But that that's, uh, I'm very curious about that. Who that, who was that person? <laughs> uh, hmm, I don't know. So that's the Dark Brotherhood. We've completed the quest line. Yay, it's exciting. Um, I, I didn't realize that you could do that without getting all 10, uh, all 10 of the reputation points. So, um, I'll, yeah, I'll have to spend some time and try to, uh, get those so I can get the achievements and get the, uh, the other level up <laughs> the skills and things, um, from that. Um, but I do want to continue exploring the Gold Coast. Like I was saying, there's, um, miscellaneous quests. Like, there were two that I saw in Karaj. So I was just like, wait a second, there's two over there. Why haven't I seen those? <laughs> Um, and then there's the dungeon that I want to check out. So we'll definitely be back uh, at the next live stream. Should be next week. And uh, we'll check out the Gold Coast. And then the week after that should be the uh, Witches Festival. I'm really excited about. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to figure out the event system because we well, just you do the dailies, basically. Uh, so, yeah. Um... So it's a busy month. It's there's a lot of things that have been going on. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the Dark Brotherhood segment. Um, I hope to actually turn them into some lore videos, like I've said before, to shorten them up a bit, make them a little bit easier to go through quicker. Um, so it'll take probably take a little bit of time to put those together, um, but I'll start working on it. <laughs> So I guess I'll see you guys next week. Uh, stay tuned to my Twitter feed for any spontaneous live streams or announcements or scheduling changes. Until then, I'll see you.